Now that we know what it looks like to get a key set that we're happy with, I want to go over a couple troubleshooting things. Um, we're going to take a look at a key that is has too much penetration, um, and that's going to be one of these top keys. So you'll actually see that the top key actually burned a hole all the way through the hood and fell on the inside. The one right here on the left, you can see it has quite a big of a little weld pool on the bottom of the key, and it actually has a, a little bit of a hole that's starting to form around it. So we want to make sure that we get a good anchoring point, but at the same time, we don't want to have too much penetration uh, corrupting any of the E-code on the backside. The more that we can save on the backside, the better. So the goal is to get as good of a weld puddle right on top of the panel as we can without putting a hole into the panel itself. So if you go through and get one one of these keys right here that have too much penetration, a couple things that we want to take a look at. We want to be able to take a look at the weld time and double check that your weld time is right around 0.6 to 0.7. On really thin aluminum, we might need to lighten that up and go down to a 0.4 or a 0.5. And then we also want to take a look at the power. If the power is on three or 400, we might want to turn it down to a 250, or if you're on 400, go down to 300 and give it a try and see if that gives you less penetration. The other thing that we can do is take a look at the back of the gun. So we talked about the arc length and the knob on the back. So if we have too much penetration, we might want to dial down the arc length and lessen that a little bit and try that out. Same thing, if we have too light of a hold and we have a key such as this one that just really wasn't a good anchoring point and comes right off, we want to check the settings again, check the power. If you're on 250, we might want to go up to 300 or check the weld time again and, and go up a couple tenths on the welding time. Or we might want to double check the knob on the back of the gun and if you're on the low end of it, we might want to tighten that up and give it a longer arc length uh, to give it more penetration into the panel.